Hey everybody, exciting news out of Chaos Group today. Vantage 2 has just been released. And I've been waiting for this for a long time because there are several features where I felt like Vantage 2 could be greatly improved. And you've seen that I've been a fan of Chaos Vantage. I've done several videos using it and demonstrating how to use it yourself. I use it in my professional workflow all the time. But a few months ago when I made a video and posted it online, some of the guys from Chaos contacted me and asked me to be part of the beta and asked me questions about like what I would like to see improved. And the cool thing is when I'm looking through the release notes of Vantage 2, they have pretty much picked up all those things that I mentioned that stood out to me right away as things that I would like Vantage to have. So that's awesome. It's not like it's a whole new software, but the release notes are promising. Let's look through some of the features and see what they are and how they can be used to improve our workflows for ArcViz. The first thing to note that people have brought up to me is that the, the cost of Vantage is changing. It is no longer just included with your V-Ray subscription like it is for probably a lot of us. If you look at the V-Ray plans, we have V-Ray Solo for $466 a year, Premium for $694 a year, but that includes Phoenix, Player, and Scans, not Vantage as far as I can tell. And if you go look at other products and go to Chaos Vantage, this is where we can see that Chaos Vantage 2 has been released. We can try for free, of course, but we can buy it for $54 a month or $658 a year. So basically the same price of V-Ray itself, which seems a little bit weird to me that it's that much. Okay, I think professionally I'm gonna be using it and paying for it for the freelancers out there I don't know let's look at some of the new features and see if it makes it worth it for that extra investment okay, if you scroll down on their website on the vantage part you can go down to what's new you can see so the things that they're really selling is scene states this was a huge one that I wanted integrated in you can see it says assign different light setups materials object transformation and post-process looks to different cameras so easily recall and send them for batch rendering. So the way it's been set up, it's like post-processing was kind of an overall setting and I needed that to be per camera. And the fact that there's scene states, I assume that means that you can do a different light mix for each camera. That's huge. That is really, really nice. So I've wanted to do before animations where I'm switching, I'm animating from one camera to another but from this camera, it's a, a daytime, daytime lighting setup and to this one, it's a nighttime. And previously I was unable to do that in Vantage. I'm hoping that this means I can do that, animating between different scene states, that'd be awesome. But even just being able to save them is a huge deal. And I'm gonna try this all out and do more videos with this in the next upcoming days, but I wanted to do a quick video now just to talk about these new features. So scatter, Populate your scenes with millions of objects in just a few clicks. I'm really interested to try that out, what Scatter looks like inside Advantage, because previously I've been able to use Chaos Scatter and then translate it using the VR scene into Vantage, which works pretty well. Um, but my complaint with that is that it's not really real-time feedback. Like you set your scatter up and then look at an advantage and be like, oh, that's not right, go back. I'm interested to try that one out, the scattering directly within Vantage, which I assume is what that means. That I would be excited about. Uh, deformed meshes, animate people and vegetation and create richer animations for your project presentations. So you, I've talked about this in other videos, but Vantage, some of the limitations are that you can't, you can't really animate everything. And it sounds a lot like they are animating, giving you the ability to animate more things. And one of the biggest things was like light intensity. I wanted to be able to animate that just like you can in Max and translate it into Vantage. It sounds like they're integrating a lot more in animation capabilities into Vantage too. If you go to see all new features, okay, scene states, light creation and placement right directly within Vantage. Camera grouping with states override, awesome. HD monitor support, so deforming meshes bring people and vegetation to life and create richer animations. Render elements, this is a huge thing. This is something I specifically brought up with them, like I need render elements. If we're gonna do serious animations out of here, we need render elements, right? And even still shots, Th this is awesome. I use render elements all the time for pretty much every project, so 
if we're doing serious renderings or animations, got to have it. So I'm glad to see that's here. Support for Anima 4D assets. So we've partnered with AXYZ to provide support for its high quality 3D library of animated 4D people and crowds. I assume that's probably like in the Cosmos browser now, like you can bring in animated people straight from Cosmos browser, maybe inside of Vantage, which would be really cool, obviously. Extended animations take even more VR scene animation effects in Vantage, from flickering and fading lights to animated the, animating the tiling offset, so like animated materials, that's pretty cool. Your animated materials, textures, and lights now work seamlessly in Vantage. So the, it, it sounds like all the stuff that you can animate in 3ds max will now translate to vantage better than it did before because like i said in some of my other videos i've talked about how i wanted to do those kind of things but they weren't supported so here's more about the scatter i need to test this out and see how it works oh this is huge scattering fog so volumetric fog inside of vantage the fog as it is right now is like a cheap imitation is how I would describe it, but having true volumetric fog in there will be awesome. So I need to test that out too. That is gonna be great if that works as I expect it to. Orthographic cameras, okay. Uh, I don't use those a ton, but I, I'm sure there's some people that do. So you could do like a straight on elevation of a rendering inside of Vantage, nice. Support, support for mesh lights, okay, so just more support for more stuff. Mesh lights I do use on occasion, so it'll be nice that they're supported in chaos. Nested VR scenes, I don't really know what that means, if I'm being honest. VR scenes can now be referenced via the VR scene object, allowing sharing of the entire scene between different V-Ray integrations. Okay, I'm going to have to test that. Denoiser, NVIDIA AI denoiser with upscaling, so better denoising. And it says that you can get better frame rate by using the upscaling mode. Okay, you may have noticed since a lot of my videos, I don't love using the denoiser because it kind of smooths everything out and softens everything and loses detail. Not a huge fan usually, but improved denoiser is welcome because sometimes you do just want something quicker, faster, that looks a little cleaner too. Add plenty of dynamic lights to your scene without worrying about performance or resource constraints. Vantage implements NVIDIA RTX DI with its direct light reservoir sampling feature. Okay, I can't speak to that until I test it out and see how it works. But it sounds awesome. Support for multiple UV channels. Okay, so again, this is just support for more of the stuff that you're doing in 3ds Max and seeing there with V-Ray in there is now coming across to Vantage, which is welcomed. That is great. Okay, so the last stuff and more quality presets, fantastic. I welcome that. That is great. Refreshed UI, excited to see what that looks like. And support for AMD GPUs for those that don't have NVIDIA RTX stuff. Okay, great, 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 great. All this stuff sounds great and is welcomed. I can't wait to check it out. I'm going to be testing this stuff out, getting my hands on this, getting a scene in there, and going for it right away doing some real life demonstrations. So subscribe for that, that will be coming up as soon as I can create the videos. And I also have a twin motion plus Unreal Engine workflow video coming up where I take the same project that, that if you've been watching my channel, I've done it in Unreal Engine 5 now, I've done it with Chaos Vantage, compared the two processes and workflows. Now I'm doing it with twin motion and then bridging that to Unreal Engine 5, seeing how that workflow works. 3ds Max to twin motion to Unreal Engine. Okay, so that's gonna be coming out very soon. Subscribe and make sure and stay tuned here for all the upcoming content. Check out the links below for free resources and links to full courses on all the stuff that I teach at a YouTube discount, of course. And uh, I look forward to checking out more of this Vantage stuff. I'm excited about it. Vantage 2. Check it out and stay tuned here for more information. Thanks a lot.